guys. So I am here. Let me turn on the lights right there. Um, what, girl? It is Saturday morning. I'm getting ready to straighten up. Um, just straighten up the house a little bit. Clean up the kitchen. Mm -hmm. We have decided uh, last minute to go to Houston with my husband um, just to get him settled in. He's going uh, tomorrow. Well, we're all going tomorrow. Um, figure why not? Because it's President's Day. Jamie's off for school. President's Day. I'm off for work. So why not? So that's the game plan. And then in four more days, we're going to be in Longview for my aunt's 70th birthday. The weather here is all over the place. Now, it's going to be raining most of the week, so it's going to be humid. So, I am not straightening my hair because that's going to be a waste of time. It was raining off and on last week, so it's going to be raining off and on all this week. So, yeah, I'm going to end up doing like a curly fro. Girl, so yeah, we're here in Houston at my husband's um apartment, temporary apartment. <clears throat> Houston, I already know. And y'all know how y'all drive in Houston. Those of you who live in Houston, those who live in Texas, you know how people in Houston drive crazy as hell. So I already had this estimated they're going to be driving crazy as hell. My husband is a very careful driver. Me, I conform to wherever the hell I, I'm at because I don't want you to be hitting me. So... If you're going 80, I'm not going to be going 60. I'm going to go like 70 to try to match you, but I ain't going to go 80 with your ass. <laughs> so, of course, as soon as we got, the closer we get to downtown Houston, they start driving crazy. My husband is driving slow, and I'm like, you? And we're following each other. I'm like, you want to get us boxed in. You either need to go, because I'm behind him, right? <coughs> So what I ended up doing is I left him, y'all. I already had the directions on how to get here. I left him. I'm like, and I called him a few times. Oh, where are you at? He said, oh, I had to go uh, stop by and get some gas. I'm like, what? We're almost, we're almost to the place. This is like 15 minutes out. Anyway, we finally made it here. It's a little, little cute place. It's okay. It's clean. Um, I'm telling you how I'm feeling. Um, I'm having some type of reaction to... You know how it depends on what type of cleaning agents, wherever they use. I'm I'm having some type of reaction to whatever she used to clean it. So I think when I come back, when we come back in April, my husband would have stayed here long enough for it to have for us to um be okay. Anyway, why did we try to go? I don't want to take him off. He may get triggered more. I talk about this child. We had the worst experience at Papa Do's. Me, I'm a very, very patient person, though, you guys. I'm very patient. So they told us the wait was going to be 30 to 35 minutes. And we knew it was going to be something crazy because it's, it's, <clears throat> it's Mardi Gras, right? And Houston is full of people from, Lo from New Orleans, from Louisiana in general, and because a lot of people moved here after Hurricane Katrina, right? Girl, 30 minutes turned into 40 minutes. That's okay, fine. But while we're waiting, we see the parade of ratchetness coming in 40 minutes get in the little girl comes over immediately i'm like great we order our drink it took 30 minutes for us to get our drinks jb food comes out cold we finally got we got there at 4 30 we got our food at six o'clock i'm not kidding six o'clock the little girl actually kept in the I hate to call her a little girl. The young lady was very apologetic. She's like, it's just my second day here. And the person running the bar shouldn't be running the bar. It's just somebody filling in. I'm like, ooh. I said, so you know what, honey? Go get me um, a to-go plate. We'll just take this to go. Wrap up the food. Take it to go. Get home. Back to the apartment. The food is undercooked. I got some type of bruising on my face i'm gonna give myself a facial so you guys i think i'm holding the camera all wrong sorry um my hair is a mess because i mean it's humid here and i don't know why this man chose he did what he had to do to pay for this child's school it's just for three months but his allergies brain and all that body doesn't work well with humidity 
and it's humid, he had crazy. So actually the humid weather helps JB and I with our allergies, right, JB? Because we yeah. get congested more. We have those type of allergies to where we need this humidity to help us to breathe better and all that. Cause I mean, we're asthmatic too. So anyway, it's very humid today in Houston, which is great for my hair. But child, the yeah, Papa Do's. Yeah, it's good for your hair too, baby. Yeah. That Papa Do's was a hot mess. My husband was, I could tell just by his eyesight, but looking at who was going in, it was already, it was already messing up his mood. I'm like, oh, please, please don't, don't y'all walk over here. They were loud, unruly, using heavy language. Did you hear those girls last night, JB? Mm -hmm. Like, why can you? I was this close to saying something because I have a small child and you over here dropping F-bombs and M-bombs and just being ratchet and loud. I mean, to the point to where the couple, the family next to us got up and left the restaurant. We were all outside waiting and they got up and left. So next time we come, if we do decide to go out to eat, I'm pretty sure he's going to do his research and find a place for us to go and sit down and eat and have reservations. Um... But yeah, we talked this morning. It's definitely something with the um, air and stuff, the air quality. That's, I mean, the the cleaning stuff that's making us react. Cause JB was even reacting. So, how's your first time in Houston, JB? Good. Good. Next time we come, we'll take you to Galveston. Okay. The okay. beach. The beach. Um, okay. We're going to the beach next time. Yeah, we'll go to the beach next time. Have burgers on the beach. Well, you can have fries on the beach. <laughs> all right y'all we're gonna go ahead and head home it's early it's gonna be crazy traffic but i'd rather if we go now we'll probably get back there 8 9 10 11 by noon i can get there by noon four hours i can get home in four hours hey you guys oh i got a little rash here. i need to get it together ciao drama 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 and this is why i told y'all i really didn't want to go to this party the month was having because i don't really mess with certain people in my family and, we, and some people i just don't even talk to so my sister and i have been talking for like days straight this is my aunt who's having her 70th birthday party right and she's turning seven years old and it's 70s deal i went ahead and got all this stuff jewelry outfit i extended my hotel my sister sends me a text message this is the day before we were supposed to go. No, two days supposed to go. My sister sends me a text message. Um, I forgot to ask so-and-so if JB could come because it's supposed to be no kids, but she's allowing my kids to come. So I told her and she said, no, no kids involved. So no kids allowed, so JB can't come. Do what? I said, okay. All right, she said, I'm so sorry. I said, no, it's okay. So I called my mom. My mom was asking me about if I have a wig, child. I'm like, what? How am I going to fit a wig on this? <laughs> I told her that about jb coming she's oh no no he can't come no kids are allowed and she's like what i'm gonna talk to you i'm gonna talk to my mom says she's gonna be talking to my aunt who's turning 70 i'm gonna talk to her right now don't do anything i said no 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 y'all look i'm a type of person if you don't have i'm gonna be very very frank if you don't have sense enough to maneuver and problem solve a situation like this i don't want even want, i don't even want to be around you i'm being very upfront so i told my mom i said no don't worry about it because i'm not trying to stress that and i really at this point i don't want to stress people out i know how it is to organize something big i don't want to give any additional stress and plus for you to say oh no uh-uh no one my sister's bringing her kids so i told my mama i don't want to no no additional stress save my coins she said well no don't do anything don't make any changes right now i'm gonna talk to her and see what we could do i said no went ahead look i don't play i went ahead i sent her an email a text message i said i do apologize i thought that my sister had included jb in the rsvp so you go ahead and cancel my rsvp now you would think that when she got this she probably would have said <coughs> oh no 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 that's okay you know he could go ahead and come and mm -mm. Okay, thank you for the cancellation. <laughs> yeah, I said, okay. So I went ahead, called up Hilton and said, I need to cancel my entire reservation. Went ahead with the Amazon.com, returning these, all this little stuff I got. It's okay, y'all. It's okay, but it's not okay, because this is family. Are you hey, you guys. So it is Saturday, and I'm already getting JB School clothes ready for the next week. So next week is Dr. Seuss week at their school. And so I bought some stuff on amazon.com. This is the Lorax. 
I'm gonna make him a Lorax shirt. This is just a regular green shirt. I got him a cat in the hat to go with his Lorax shirt. Um, and then one day is wacky day. I'm gonna hot glue a bunch of these on the shirt. And then one day is uh, green fish. What is it? Yellow fish, blue fish. Is this even blue? It doesn't look blue. It looks like a violet color. Anyway, it's like green fish, blue fish, yellow fish, red fish. I'm gonna do that on this shirt. Make some fish, maybe. Right now, and we just went to Half Price Books, and I got an NES game. So right now we're just waiting on food. And then after this, we're gonna go to, um, we're gonna eat nothing but cakes. So yeah. Milkshake is here. Me and my milkshake are here. The top, oh, the top is not even, this is light. The, the top is, it's so thick to poke it through. We are back. I am relaxing. Pour myself a glass of wine. I am getting JB's outfits together for school next week. Um, we did a lot today, right, JB? Mm -hmm. Now, child, we went to Five Guys, Burgers and Fries. Never again. I just got a burger with regular fries. I didn't do the Cajun seasoning. JB got the same. It costs twenty nine dollars. Child, I could have went to Whataburger for fourteen dollars. cooking I'm gonna show y'all what I'm cooking so I've been my body has been telling me I need to have beef I don't eat beef a lot and meaning I probably eat beef once every two or three months but every now and then I crave it and I go ahead and get it give in so I bought a package of beef today um, and I separated it into a portion so I have some here I'm gonna make tonight a chipotle penne cream Steak pasta sauce, I know it's a lot. Broccoli, I have some bell peppers over here, sauteing, I'm gonna get this off soon. Gonna put in some garlic, butter, 
um, some chipotle peppers. What I did, I already opened this up and I have a little bitty package of the steak. I can't eat all the steak by myself, so I divided it up. 